yourself Hello and welcome back to DIY Golf Cart. In today's instructional video, we'll be installing a snow plow that fits a 1982 and up Club Car DS. Your key should already be in the off position, but just in case it's not, turn in the off position and then make sure that your parking brake is set. Our first step in the install process will be to remove this factory bumper off the Club Car DS. So what we're going to take is a half inch socket and a larger screwdriver, put the screwdriver through and remove both these bolts. Once we've got these removed, we're going to take these bolts out and then install the mounting bracket here. Okay, once we've got the bumper removed, we're going to take a, some protective eyewear here, a half inch drill bit and drill out the holes that are already drilled in the front of this bumper. this on both sides to make room for the new bolts we'll be installing. All right, once we got both sides drilled out, supplied in the kit will be some new bolts, washers, and a nut. So we're going to take our winch mount and our snow plow mount. We'll go to nut washer, put a washer on the back side. Then put the nut on. Now we'll do the same to the other side. Once we got the bolts and bracket in place, we're going to take a 5 inch bit with the driver and drive these bolts right in. We'll do the same to the other side. And then our winch should be securely in place. Okay, once we get the bracket attached firmly to the frame of the golf cart, we're going to install our winch. And the bolts for the winch are included in the box for the winch. So uh, all we'll do is just run these things straight through. Go to your lock washer first, then our washer, then our nut. Do the same on this side. Lock washer, washer, and then the nut goes on the bottom. Next step, we'll take our half inch open in wrench and our half inch socket will tighten down all four bolts. Once we got the winch all tightened to the mounting bracket, our next step we're going to jack up the front end of the cart so we can run the wires for the winch up underneath the undercarriage. To be extra cautious, you might want to get some jack stands and put them up underneath the frame of the cart just in case the, the jack fails.
Our next step before we run the wire underneath the cart will be to add some additional wire to the winch itself. So we added about a three foot increase in length here just so we had enough to run all the way down the cart and up underneath the battery carriage. Our next step, since the wiring out of the winch is on the passenger side of the cart and the wiring harness that's factory to this club car DS is on the driver's side, we're going to run the wires behind the front cowl and over to the driver's side of the cart. So we'll just throw those over there and then move right along to the driver's side. All right, once we've thrown the wires over to the driver's side of the cart, we're going to take some zip ties, which you'll have to provide yourself, run it through a hole up here, and then attach the wire. Once we've got it attached there, then we're just going to run down the frame of the golf cart just as though the factory wiring harness is. Alright, so we'll run these wires and follow the factory wiring harness, putting a zip tie right where they do. Once we got that one tight, then we'll just move right along to the next loop, which is right here underneath the battery area. Just throw a zip tie directly on there. Our next step will require us to remove the front seat from the golf cart itself. It's just on little piano hinges there, so we'll remove that and just set it off to the side. And once we've got the seat removed, we're going to locate the wires that we ran from the undercarriage and just poke them directly through the battery area. Once we've got them poked through, we'll want to zip tie it at the bottom just to hold the wire securely in place. Our next step will be working in the battery area of this club car DS, so we require the use of some safety goggles. Okay, now that we have our positive and our negative lead already equipped with the correct terminals, we'll grab a 9 16 wrench and we'll locate where we installed the voltage reducer, which was right here on this positive post which took the 16 volts combined in these two batteries and reduced it down to 12. So we'll install the positive there. And then nextly, we'll just plug the negative terminal, the spade in, into the female and tighten down the 9 16th nut. Once we've done this, we'll be ready to install the snow plow on the front of the cart. Now that we have all the wires ran from the winch itself to the batteries, we'll remove the jack stands and lower the cart. What's nice about this plow is it all comes assembled directly to your door. So what you need to do is take the pin provided in the kit, line the plow up itself with the mount, and slide it right through. Let me take this cotter pin here. Put it on that end, and then we take the key for the to work the winch and lower the winch down. Once the winch is lowered, we hook it in right here. For our last final step, we'll need to install the scraper blade onto the plow itself. Now these nuts and bolts are provided in the kit, so you just need to put them on there like this and tighten them all down. What's nice about this scraper blade is that you can purchase it if this one becomes damaged over years of use at a very discounted price. You can angle the direction of your plow by simply pulling this pin and rotating it in place. This finalizes our install of a snowplow on a club cart DS golf cart. 
Now, if you have a lifted cart, we've got these mounting brackets that you can purchase additionally that will allow this, this plow to install to your lifted golf cart. Now, although we don't have much snow here in Texas, we do sell these all over the world. We've had great success. So please call us if you have any questions. Thanks.